now we're going to cut a song from my new album. It's called If I Die Tomorrow. And we're going to cut the master for this mm -hmm. uh, from the tape. OK. So we're queued up. We're going to watch you it first to, You want me to show you how to do it? You want to yeah, cut it? Yeah, absolutely. Are all you right. kidding me? So what we do, first of all, is we got to start this platter up. OK. OK, it's on. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll this over here. Okay. You're going to press the white button. Yep, throw this handle back, knock this back. You're going to drop the cutter head slowly all the way down until it latches. Perfect. And now you're going to hit fast. Push comes fast? Up. Yep, push fast right first. Now? Yep, go ahead. We're in the groove. But now press play. And we're cutting. If I die tomorrow, could you find it in your heart to sing? If my mother cries in sorrow, will you help her with the many things that she needs from time to time and day to day? So if I die tomorrow, will you know exactly what to say today? I had no idea that the process for cutting a record was so elaborate. Now that I understand what it takes, I'm gonna be listening to vinyl completely differently. We're getting, close to, we're getting close to the end of this cut. So Danny, at the end of this, you're gonna hit this fast button. Okay. Wait a second, wait a second. We're gonna turn this up and listen to the fade out. And as soon as the music stops, hit fast. Ah, and you've just so cut a record. Cool. Yeah, cool. you just got a record. Thanks, guys. That's so cool. That's so cool, man. So if you'd like to see the whole process, now where we go from here, we can go over to the pressing plant here and you can see what happens next. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll take you guys out there. Yeah. We'll meet up with Eddie and we'll go through the plant. That'd you guys awesome. want to do that? Great. Yeah, absolutely. And awesome. uh, when you're done, I'll catch you back up with you and to talk to you about what I called you for in the first place. Yeah, so I'd love to hear more about that, but yeah. you, but this is fascinating. Yeah, awesome. All right, yeah. let's I go want to see it. Thanks, guys. Great. No All doubt. Right. Bill Skibby is an amazing engineer, and he started working in the Third Man Mastering Studio, and he learned how to cut vinyl, and he's really talented at it. And we're lucky. We really only invite people in who really love music, really love vinyl, and love to be creative. So this is where we make all the records out here. Wow. Yep. We got plant operators working from 7 in the morning until 11 every night. That's and so uh, cool. Yeah, it's crazy. Production has gone through the roof. So check this out. Box truck. It looks just like a box truck, right? It's a, just a rusted, dirty box truck. Come around the back here and check this out. Mm-hmm. Stop it right now. Are you kidding me? This is a mobile recording truck. You're always getting into something cool as hell. You can actually take this truck to a live show. Truck pulls up, we wire everything up, you record straight to the truck, and you don't have to set up anything inside the venue. You know, if you're playing a live venue, you could have somebody rent a tape machine and a board and bring it into the venue. But what this was all about was, no, that's already taken care of. It's on the truck. All we got to do is wire it up, and you're good to go. Where'd you guys find it at? We found it down in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Mm-hmm. You know, you hear rumors of things like this. Oh, there was a recording truck that did a thing, and they had a cool studio that did this. This is, so this is one of those mythological things that you didn't think, maybe didn't even really exist. This thing was made by an 18-year-old engineer here in town. What? Working for a company called Metro Audio. What year was this done? 1971. And it recorded Bob Seger's Live Bullet, Kiss Alive, Kiss War. Alive. Kiss Alive, OK. I mean, let alone, that's like what broke that band. Yeah. Them recording at Cobo Arena. This is an amazing moment that went through this truck. That's like one of the most famous live wow. albums of the 70s. How do you know all this stuff? Are you talking to people that actually used to run this stuff? Well, I've run into a couple of the old engineers who okay. tipped us off to some things. Yeah. Hearing around, we're hearing little bits and pieces of, oh, I knew they did a New York Dolls record with that thing. Mm -hmm. And it even did Sid Vicious's solo record. Yeah. Jeez. No way. So it was all over the place. The story the story goes that the guy who built it, uh, the kid retired, and then the guy who owned the truck, the, the company, Charles Buchanan, retired to Florida. He did the Leonard Skinner record, One More From The Road. Oh, wow. It was done with this, and they mixed it down there, and then he fell in love with Florida and retired from Michigan down to Florida. So the truck went okay. down with him, so he kind of just phased out of doing the live recording thing, kind of retired and went into film.
So when you guys bought this, did you know any of the history of it at all, or you just bought it because it was a rolling studio? Well, I bought it because it was a studio. I mean, I went and saw it, freaked out, bought it on the spot. We didn't know any of the history of it. Our hope now is to restore it. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Isn't that great? So you guys want to restore this? You're Absolutely. Looking for, what are you looking for? We want to bring this, it or something, or we want to bring it back to life. We want to make it a working recording studio on wheels again. And yep. um, the history of it and and what it's capable of doing is just incredible. I just don't think there's anything out there like. But this. what do you want us to do, though? I mean, as far as like you're looking for parts for it or something. We want you to give I mean, us one million dollars for this. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.